this video we are going to go over how to use linear regression in SAS. The code that we're going to use is proc reg data is equal to the data set, model y variable equals the x variable, and then run. And in my example here, I have preloaded in SAS this golf data set. And I'm going to use this, this, is, this variable one is supposed to be club head speed, and this is distance in yards, and I'm going to put that in to our code for linear regression. So let me just note that. Okay. So proc reg data is equal to work dot golf. It's going to be model, and that was. I'm going to use the distance in yards as the y variable. And you have to type the column headers exactly as you see them. Which is why I kept going back and forth. But anywho, we have to just wait for this to finish loading up everything. And it finished. So, when we're using this linear regression model, it gives us our analysis of variance, which gives us the degrees of freedom, sum of squares values, mean squared values, for the model and the errors. It gives us our f value and our probability that this is a significant linear relationship. And it gives us a whole bunch of other values, variables involving the square root of the mean standard, mean square error, the dependent mean, the coefficient of variation, the coefficient of determination, the adjusted coefficient of determination. It gives our parameter estimates for the Inter for the intercept and the club head speed. So the intercept of our line of best fit is negative 55.7966 and the uh, me the um, the slope of our line involving that club head speed is going to be 3.1661. Uh, the next portion here gives us these different fit diagnostics. So this is predicted value by residual predicted value by this was by our student and then leverage by our student quant quantile by residual predicted value by distance observation by Cook's D residual by percent and proportion less and we have the fit mean and residual and it gives us some of those values done here as well. Do note how the um, residuals here to be pretty, pretty relatively good amount of spread. There might be like one up here that's a little questionable. But for the most part, it's pretty spread out, which is good. And the quantile plot shows it pretty close to that that line here in the middle for that, was it, that uh, quantile, normal quantile plot. And the residual histogram down here shows a, I mean, it's not certainly nowhere near perfectly normal, but approximately normally distributed down here. We see a bigger spread of that club head speed by residuals to note the same thing as down here, only a little bit more spread out so we could see what's actually going on. And then the final graph on here shows the fit plot for the club head speed by distance and it gives us the actual line of best fit it gives us inside of this blue highlighted portion this is the 95 percent confidence of that line of best fit and these dotted lines these are the 95 percent prediction limits if we were to actually try to predict any values let me know if you have any questions or concerns Thank you.